Hi, it's only me again. Now, I wanted to do things a little bit differently this week. So, one of the things I always aimed to do when I started this channel was to be as honest as possible about myself, about the route to pharmacy, and about the journey within it. So, let's get straight into it, shall we? I am the youngest of five children. My parents were running a family business that's older than I am, and I was asked if I'd want to run it in the future, as none of the other siblings had. Having reached AS levels and finding it a struggle, I was starting to think that maybe I was better suited for psychology, or philosophy, or English, or other creative routes rather than the sciences. I felt I was doing better at these subjects, but I didn't know what sort of a career I was actually after. Not really knowing much about what exactly I wanted to do at that age, I decided to commit to pharmacy and give it a go. I know this situation is one that most aren't presented with, one that I was lucky to have and an opportunity available only through privilege. Yet I say that to give an idea into the mindset of going into the pharmacy degree without knowing much about it, despite being surrounded by it growing up. And I say this because I struggled with grasping a lot of the modules throughout the course. Despite this, I can tell you a few things from my experience in the seven years since qualifying and running the pharmacy business. For one, I actually grew to enjoy much of the learning within the degree itself, and the modules covered were surprisingly varied. Also, pharmacy's changed while I was studying, and it continues to change since I'd qualified. When we started, there were only one or two options that were focused on, a third of which only one or two people a year would get into. Now, the pharmacy degree is presenting more and more job roles directly or indirectly associated with the degree. Another thing the pharmacy degree offers are options as to what type of professional you want to be. Pharmacists are healthcare professionals that wear many hats. They have clinical hats, legal hats, business hats. Having the ability to choose which hat you want to focus on and what skills you want to develop, that's down to you. Some pharmacists choose to casually work a few days a week, Others commit to several different job roles and further learning. It can often be what you make of it. And despite the looming threats of job security, which undoubtedly face most, if not all sectors, remember pharmacy roles were still around when the unforeseen occurred in March 2020 with COVID, and the world was reacting to the coronavirus. A reminder to the nation of how valuable having pharmacists was. Of course, as with everything, it does have its pros and cons. It isn't for everyone. There's no doubt it can be frustrating, misunderstood and often undervalued, and is a sector that is constantly having to try to adapt. But given the varied modules on the courses, the skill sets you learn, and the pathways available, there aren't many degrees where you can be both the jack of many trades, as well as the master of one. Now. That desire to create that I mentioned at the start has never really gone. I've always wanted to start something myself and see it through, which is why I'm trying my hand at YouTube. I hope that I'll cover more about the degree itself and the journey through pharmacy and things I've learned in more detail in future videos. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'd be keen to hear your thoughts. If you want to see more videos looking into the pharmacy degree, please like, share, subscribe and let me know and hopefully I'll see you next week.